Finland versus Gilas Filipinas. Who will win this game? Thanks for spending your Friday afternoon with 2K Sports and the NBA. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Anderson along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our distinguished analyst, Ali LaForce on the sidelines. We've got the visitors facing the home team. Here's Baller. Now the starting group for the visitors. Has to be. Shot clock at six. To the paint. And he takes the feet in stride and slams it home. Justin. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering it home like that. Takes the three. He can't get it to go. Here's Baller. The putback. It's good on the putback. You gotta love how he's stuck with the play. Nice work. Inside. Here's Lee. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things. Playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. Here's B. Uses the glass Justin, to finish the layup. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. Pass to Lee. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Here's B. Down low. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Personal foul. First team foul. Had he play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. for your home team number 15 taking two shots shooting two and he makes a first That one falls, so he hits both of them. A uh, big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Pass to Markkinen. And he converts the layup. Some real toughness from Markkinen. Powers through the contact, then has the focus and touch to finish. Here's Baller. Here's B, who oh, drains the 19-footer. And right off the bat, super sharp here offensively. Four of five so far. To the middle. And the powerful one-handed slam. How about the bounce? <laughs> we can call that bounce per ounce. Can't be denied. Driving inside. Oh, and he got Wait, fouled on his way up. He'll head Larry to the line Markkinen. to shoot two. First personal it's foul. on Laurie Markkinen. Second team foul. At the line for your home team. Number 32. Two shots. Shooting two.
And he drops the first. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Driving to the basket. Misses off the right iron. Good shot, gone bad. You gotta finish there. Here's B. He has six. Pass to Baller. And it's good. Number Two points. Three. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes play. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Here he goes. Oh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. He <laughs> sends it home with some passion. I think he's rubbing it in a little bit here. Hang it up there like that. Pass to Markkinen. And he lobs it up to the rim. <laughs> oh, what a pass. Those two read each other really well. Looks like a play they've definitely run in practice. Here's B. Here's the floater. That one's off. He's two for three in the game. To the inside. Here's Markkinen. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First personal foul. Man, First good whistle foul. there. Shooting for the away team. Lowry, Markkinen. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Markkinen hits them both. Here's Baller. Has to be. 11 feet out. Shot is good. Off the number back three rim three. and in. Assist Give him eight points now. Chris, number three. From the strike. Nope, that one misses. Now three for five. Takes it inside. And it's in there. An outstanding first quarter from the field. To the middle. Here's Markkinen. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Markkinen's got eight points. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Has to be... Offensive rebound. There's the drive. They get it again. Back to Lee. Just five to shoot. Here's Baller. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Second personal foul, third team foul. 
Shooting for the home team. Number three. At the line for two. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Both good from the line that time. And you have to be impressed how they're getting to the free throw line and taking advantage of those opportunities. Can't cash it in from close range. To the paint. And it's Lee with the rebound. Marking it outside. Blocked! Here's B. Give him eight points now. Here's Baller. Misses in close. it up top. Ooh, the Buffalo death Island. touch on the lob. To they keep trading Number punches. 35. Both teams in a groove early. Who's going to miss first? Every time one team scores, the other team right back at you. Has to be the three. He connects. And now he's four for six in today's game. Yeah, he's been having his way this quarter. Attacking the basket and protecting their lead. Pass to Lee. Out left to the wing. Down low. And he jams it home with authority. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Here's B. And count it. Now five for seven. Pretty easy right now. Clear out, give him some space, let him get to work. Five to shoot. Here's Lee. He got a piece of it. Going all the way to the rack. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. And he's going for the lob. Stole it away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Three-pointer, no good. Grab that one. However, so far, they're getting a little out-hustled on the boards. A nice shot by Baller. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. Pass to Lee. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Personal foul, second team foul. At the line for the away team. Lee at the line for two. One misses. That's off as well, so he misses both. One twenty-four left in the first quarter here. And can't get it to go. Now one of two. From the arc. The shot comes out. Here's Baller. He's got seven. 
fires in the triple. He's got 10. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Inside, here's Markkinen. Ooh, nothing falling for them right now. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Hook loose. And he drives in. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Here's Baller. And a strong finish with two hands. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. No good there with a step back, Jay. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. Up by 15. Don't go away. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment. Just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? <laughs> on the front foot, really right off the tip. They've been ruthless offensively. Well, just taking it right at the opposition and the other team right now. No answers and no way to slow them down. Here's Wilson. Four on the clock. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Now say what you will about the value of the three-pointer, but those close-in looks are always plan A. Every trip down, get to the paint, get deep, score. Down low. Here's Baller. Laid it in with a nice Number touch three. off the window. Yes, sir. 14 points for him. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now. Just gift wrapping points. Pass to Wilson. Second chance effort. Murphy's Murphy. shot is good. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Here's Baller. He's got 14. Nails it. He's now six for eight from the floor. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Pass to Madsen. To the middle. Murphy's shot is off. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. And that was just moving the ball quickly. And he's rewarded at the end with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. The rebounding numbers make it obvious why they're in front. Well, every time the shot goes up, guys are doing a nice job of finding bodies and making sure there's room to collect the rebound. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Off target from three-point range. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. And he gets it to go. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Here's Wilson. To win the run. And 
got a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Wilson taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And so he hits both. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. Tipped away. Out on his own on the break. The pull-up jumper. Pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. Six points for him. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist really the key to that entire sequence. Out on his own on the break. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. He's got a knack for finishing inside. That's easy money. To the paint. Goes up and lays it in. Nice and easy. Strong pass there to set up the basket. Away team. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. This one for three. And he's in the books. Now one for two. You got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Second shot opportunity, and they recover it. They shoot again. Ooh, now seven for nine after that make. Wow, they're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. To the inside. Here's Madsen, and there's a three-second violation. Ooh, talk about a way to deflate the team. Yeah, he knows he shouldn't have made it, and that's just really overall a frustrating sequence that hopefully doesn't stick with him. And we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block. Oh, now that was a block. Some much-needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. Oh, it's blocked! It deflects off the backboard! And that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Down to five on the shot clock. Missed inside. Launches it. On target from range. He's got six. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Out to the wing. Going inside. And he comes up with a bucket. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And the three-pointer goes. Three. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. Into the lane. He connects. And now he's four for six in today's game. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Timeout, timeout. Away team. Marking it outside. The three is up. That's good. For the day, he's four for six. Three points. Does so much out there to stretch out the defense when he's out on the perimeter and he drains the triple. 
Oh, there's the alley. Alley-oop up top, hammer at home. Woo! <laughs> I just love that alley-oop slam, PA. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Over to the left wing. There's the triple. And count it. Now five for seven. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. 19 points in the game. He played well in the first quarter, but now he's taking it to the next level. To the left wing. Right through the D for the layup. Markinen. Markinen's got eight points here in the quarter. And maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. To the paint. Powered down after the assist. Led him to the lane. Just such a terrific dunker. Man, born to fly, that's for sure. Pass to Madsen. Now Markinen. There's the three. Ooh, now seven for nine after that make. It's obvious he's taking it upon himself to try and keep them alive. Markkinen's gone three for three. Perfect so far from long range. And there's the lob. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Here's Wilson. He's got six. On the take. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. They've been flawless at the line this quarter. They need to stay aggressive and keep drawing fouls. That'll help them chip away at the lead. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. The putback. And another shot. Rebounded by Matson. 151 left to play in the first half of basketball. From 13. And that one's good. Marketin. Markkinen's got 13 Madsen. points in this quarter. Yeah, he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. He sends it home with some passion. I think he's rubbing it in a little bit here, hanging up there like that. Here's Wilson. He's got nine. And Markkinen's good for three. Markkinen's got 24. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. One oh five left to play in the second quarter. And there's the rejection. And there's the drive. And he lobs it up. Inside. And it's blocked. Pass to Madsen. Nice catch Madsen. and finish on the lob. Oh, man, take a look at that one. Just a textbook alley-oop. Beautifully done. He served it up on a platter. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Out to the right wing. Rebounded by Matson. This is why you want ball movement and play. Oh, oh, everybody up for that one. Goodness. You could just feel Woo. that coming. BA, I'm not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this game so close. Oh, it's risky, but it sure did look good. With one on the clock. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Up two. And don't go away. After the break, we'll... The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, welcome back. Ernie Johnson alongside the Jet. That's Kenny Smith. The Diesel. That's Shaquille O'Neal. A lot of big-time action so far in this one. Taking a look at this home squad. Kenny, how'd you see it? They came out as the more physical team tonight. 
You can tell they put an emphasis on winning the battle of the board. All of these bodies crashing the glass and giving them a physical and a middle edge. Of and Shaq, let's get your input on the visiting team. Hard to feel happy with your opponent over the 60%. You're going to have to make things harder for those guys defensively. Force them out of their comfort zone. Contest every shot. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. It's been quite a game for Laurie Markkinen. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. This for the tie! Unable to get that one. They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. Yep, that one goes. 25 points in the game. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through their high basketball IQ play. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Here's Baller. Driving in. And a nice finish on the layup. Ten points for him. Well, he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. And down it goes. Two points. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Has to be. Six on the shot clock. It's deflected. Down low. That one's good. This game is all even. They fought so hard to get themselves in a position to win this game. Well, there's an ebb and a flow. They had a hard time earlier, but now, flow. Here's B. 13 points in the game. The layup misses. They've been taking care of business. <laughs> Especially at the offensive end, where they've been totally in sync. Here's Baller with the drive. Shots blocked. For the lead. Can't capitalize inside. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but looked like plenty of room. Number 11. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. Second half of play here. We're just under two and a half minutes past. He takes it in. And the lamp is good off the glass. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Pass to Baller. It's guarded by Markkinen. And rejected. To the middle. Here's Lee, and he banks in the layup. Lee's got eight. Man, that's now ten straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Has to be. Pulls up, high post. And it's Lee with the rebound. Lee's got four rebounds now. To the paint. Here's Markkinen. Yep, that one goes. Markkinen. Markkinen's got 30 points. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. And it's Lee with the rebound. Lee's got five rebounds in the game.
Here's the teardrop, and the layup is good. He has six. When a player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Remember, they've upped their intensity on defense. A noticeable change from the first half. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Markkinen's got room. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. Markkinen's got six here in the quarter. He drops yet another dime, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. It's been quite a game for Laurie Markkinen. The defense has to take the ball out of his hands. He's just knocking down every three-pointer he takes right now. Coming up the floor for your home team, number... Has to be. Trying to get back on track. And it's Lee with the rebound. Lee's got six rebounds now in the game. To the left side wing. Out to the right wing. Six to shoot. Tries again, and he takes Number it up three, and lays it in. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Here's Baller. 16 points for him. And the shot goes. Six points for him. Chris. Such Number confidence three. as a passer. He hits guys in stride and makes it look easy. Pass to Markkinen. Throws it up high. Lee and the tip in on the offensive boards. Lee's got six here in the quarter. <laughs> you know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from inside. Here's Baller. Let's it go from deep. The shot by B, no good. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. Inside. Banked it in off the glass. That's the assist kind of passing you want there. Work the ball three, around. Five. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. To the inside. Pass to AI. Back to Lee. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Lee's got 12 points in the game. He was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. B. Up and in on the layup. Number Just two. one of six this quarter. Trying to shoot his way out of this funk. High arcing shot. The rebound by Baller. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. And the basket Number by 32. B. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. Can't get it to fall. Down low. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. Pass to Lee. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. Number 35. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. It's been quite a game for Laurie Markkinen. And they simply have no answer right now for what he's doing to them. He is making them pay. It's 
number 33. Has to be from downtown. Eight makes out of 15 shots. He's got it going. Trying more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game. One in each half. One forty-six left in the third quarter. And the ball ends up out of bounds. And they retain possession. Five on the clock. The three ball. Kind of rare to see any player have this much of a struggle from the field. To still have the lead shows how resilient they are as a complete team. It's so sick, the vertical ability. That was flat out awesome. He has that effortless knack for getting to the hoop. One twenty-one left in the third. And Markkinen with the stuff. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. Has to be. Lays it up and banks it in. It's interesting. They definitely had more three-point attempts in the first half. Not sure why they went away from it. Inside. Oh, he goes up high for the two-handed slam. Now, lead passes like that are so hard to defend. He never had to break his stride. So full speed, two points. Soft touch off the glass. Assisted. Six points for him. Justin. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. There's 37 seconds left to play in the third Ooh. quarter of basketball. Up high and down it goes on the lob. A high IQ player. Markkinen continues to develop his playmaking skills. Away team foul. Kaponen. First personal foul. First team foul. Substitution for the away team. Murphy. On defense, the visiting team from behind the arc. And the basket by B. He's got 25. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Yeah, there was a lack of intensity in the first half, but these teams have now turned it up. You asked for those hustle plays earlier in the game. We're seeing them now. With the teardrop. And that one is hammered home. And he's battling for everything, doing all he can to help extend their lead. And just throwing down the putback with authority. Uh, team's having a tough time containing him, attacking all the way there. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. They're up by six. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create freeing everybody up. And that cut was wide open. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Drives to the hoop. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And just great intensity down the stretch. I mean, he really wants to rock with the game on the line. Now take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. And he's going for the oop here. And here's the fast break. The pull-up J. Not going to go that time. I've been in this position. Your team is up. You want to drive in the dagger. He may be a little overeager. Shoot from the baseline. That one drops for him. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. 
A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. And off the left side of the rim, it swirls in for him. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Uses the glass on the layup. He's got 31. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Pass to Lee. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, well, he settled for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. And that's a clutch shot by a big-time shooter. And where's the D? Fades away. And that one comes up a bit short. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Got to give them credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. And how about the sequence in its entirety? Momentum swing, and you love the effort here. Woo! I just love that alley -oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. To the middle. Here's Murphy. Perfect Murphy. pass to set up the lay-in. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. Right wing. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Zero rim protection. Unforgivable in a tight ball game like this. Well, I hope there's one player on that team out there that has interest in winning this game. Right now, it doesn't look to be one. The game now all tied up. And what a comeback. Do they have enough left to maintain this energy and get the win? This is a testament to this team's fortitude, never giving up. Folks, we've got a new ball game. To the inside. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And he's now got the double-double. He hits the back iron and sinks it. They've really picked up the energy level and have willed themselves back into this game. Well, they didn't really have a choice at the position that they were. They had to fight hard. They've gotten that. They've outworked the other team just fighting tonight. To the wing, right side. And the basket by B. 37 points for him. And they've really relied on him down the stretch. From deep. Sinks it from distance. All of a time sudden, out, he's balling. Halftime adjustments successful so far. Which of the home team had some words for his team over the break. And with every possession being critical, he was clear with his team. Quote, this is what we prepared for. Keep your focus, stay in the moment, and execute. He believes that's the path to victory, guys. Fires for three. They get it back. Ooh, tough possession there. They stayed with it. Just couldn't make the shot. And a missed layup. And he drives in. And it's Lee with the rebound. Lee's got rebound number 11. Here's Madsen. No luck. They battled on the glass, but they couldn't knock it down. And he lobs it up. Beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch. Great flush. Pass to Lee. To the paint. Deflects the pass. Fires the three. No luck on that one. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. 
and he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. Well, this kind of effort will energize the team and get you going, just gobbling up every board. Driving inside. Here's B. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make time sure out, that out. this lead holds up. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Our new balance, player of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was one easy pick for sure. From the start, he looked in total control for the entire game. It's incredible to see a player outperforming everyone else on the court. Pass to Lee. That one's off. 10 for 14 now. Here's Baller. It's guarded by Markinen. To the inside. And he lays it up and in. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. That shot, no good. Here's B to the middle. And he goes in for the dunk. They're locked in and focused on making each possession a success. Yeah, that's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, wow. knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. He makes it look effortless out there. Until the defense actually presents a challenge for him, expect those kind of results. Has to be. Three-pointer. Drills it from deep. He's got 42. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him until he misses. And there's the lob. Boy, left it right in the sweet spot with the lob. Nicely done. Saw his teammate with a pass to the rim, and boom! Lobbed it up there beautifully. Very smooth catch and finish. And Markkinen with the stuff. Everyone loves the alley-oop play, B.A. Yep, one of the prettiest in basketball. Pass to Baller. Misses the layup. Inside. And Markkinen with the stuff. In this one, he's been on his game. It's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. Minute 32 left in the fourth. To the wing on the left. Down low. Here's Lee. Ooh, the lead mm. pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Lee's got 18 points in just the second half. Here's Baller. Tries yet again, and he lays it in. That kind of looks like a predictable shot, one that they want. The defense has to prevent the ball from getting into that sweet spot. Kicks it out to Markkinen. And a miss there on the triple. It all comes Ooh. down to this possession. They must get points. Now you can't make any mistakes right here if you want to keep hope alive. Their execution has to be precise. One minute left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Baller. It's down. His seventh make in 13 attempts today. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Oh, you've got to appreciate the maturity of a young player like Markkinen. Unfazed in the game's biggest moments.
Two points here could be the only cushion they need, Grant. <laughs> Hard to say. Crazier things have happened in this league. Love his shot selection. Good at taking quality shots. Whether he's defended or open, he knows how to knock those down. And now we've got an intentional foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. Three. Two shots. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. And he ends up making the second. And that makes it a seven-point lead. At this point, it just feels like it's over. You want to keep expending energy, or do you want to start thinking about the next one? And connects from downtown. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back to relax in getting out of it. And they go to the intentional foul. Third team foul. Taking two shots. And no good as the first free throw misses. And he's able to hit the second one. And that puts him up five. And right here, they can't waste any time. Well, it's probably a little bit too late here, but you really need to score a bucket here to stay alive. I'm not sure what happened there. You just can't give away possessions in this league. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting for the home team. Ramos. Two shots. So the first one drops. And that increases the lead to six. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a seven-point game. Every free throw is crucial in a close game. Nice work at the line. All right, guys, what's your take? Too little, too late. And it's in. And now they trail by just four. Lazy defense there, guys. You have to guard the outside on inbounds plays, too. Every man has to be accounted for. Your home team. 17 seconds oh, left in the game, foul. and they foul Number intentionally. Three, That's what they have to do at this point. Foul. Shooting for the home team. Ramos at the line for two. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. So he comes up empty at the line. And they'll get another chance. And an intentional foul right there. Intentional foul. Team is in the penalty. At the line for your home team. Number The first of two, no good. A heartbreaker. That's good. Going one of two from the line. Now yeah, that puts him up five. All right, guys, what's your take? Score quick, then foul. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And he sinks it. And he's brought them within two points now. Wow. That takes steady nerves right there. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a notch. And they're going to prolong the game with an intentional foul. Three. Taking two shots. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he does get the second one. And that makes it a three-point lead. 
and looking to even the score with a huge three. Uh, you can bet that's what they're looking for this late in the game. They need that three. To tie it up. And he drills the triple. Oh, an enormous three-pointer. There's B. It's good. Can you get it off in time? at the buzzer. That's a field goal. Oh, wow. The winner at the buzzer. It doesn't get any better. Man, I'm just blown away. Absolutely as clutch as you can get. People are going to be talking about that shot for a long time. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. What a performance they had here at home today. <laughs> I'll tell you what. These are the ones that are so nice to win and so tough to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat, never knowing what would happen next. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.